All right, we're back, y'all. I'm, I'm continuing after having technical difficulties. I have Kansas and Florida State getting upset. I cannot wait till this is correct. And the round of 32 was seriously going to be Belmont and New Mexico State. Who would have ever thought? <laughs> For Just because Belmont just keeps improving year by year in their type of conference, we'll go with Belmont in this matchup in the 32. We got Buffalo being Temple. This will actually be a close game for fairly small mid-major schools. Michigan State will beat Hofstra. St. John's, I'm thinking they'll pull out the upset against Iowa State. Like I said, Iowa State's not impressing the resume very much. LSU will definitely beat Wright State. Virginia will beat UCF. Although UCF does, you can't count out UCF. They have a good coach this year and... A good a good lineup that a couple of players that actually stayed and in Nevada and Kansas State this would be a really this is definitely a coin flip but if I coin flip I I would definitely agree Nevada has the edge with the Martin twins coming back and in general they're they're saving their best basketball for March in my opinion in Kansas State this would be a heck of a game either way I'm still going with Nevada like I said Houston will beat Mississippi State Michigan will beat Florida, although this would be a very close game if it didn't go our way in the Chick-fil-A Beach Bowl when Florida, Florida outbeat us by a ton. Good thing I was working that day because that sounded like an awful game. Duke will beat Auburn, although Auburn will give them a, give them a fight to their money because Auburn was in the tournament last year. They have the tournament level experience. Marquette will beat Maryland. That would be a big 4-5 matchup. Cincinnati will lose to Purdue, although this would be a good game. Iowa will lose to Kentucky. And Tennessee will still beat Utah State as much as I like Utah State. Their run will end at the round of 32. And the Seton Hall and Seton Hall Cinderella run for one game will end against the Badgers. And Villanova and Texas Tech. I'm kind of going with a slight upset here. Phil Booth is back with Villanova, but they really can't match up with with big classes since a lot of their senior class from last year's championship team left. We'll go with Texas Tech in this great matchup. I'm going to go with an upset here. VCU has not been in the Final Four, y'all, since 2012. And it's time because North Carolina has been good for long enough, as we all know. It's time to, time to see an upset. So we're going with VCU. That's right, you heard it, VCU. Going Gonzaga to beat Syracuse. This will be a good 32 game. Got Michigan State being Buffalo. Don't come out Buffalo, though. St. John's will lose to LSU. Got Virginia beating Nevada. And then Houston, that will be a really tough matchup for my Wolverines because we nearly beat them on Jordan Poole's buzzer beater, which sent Michigan to a national championship before losing to Villanova, 62-79. But this will, this will hopefully be the same matchup, same type of outcome in the Sweet 16 game, which will even be tougher than they're on the 32. We'll go with Michigan here in this bracket. Anything can happen. Go with market. I'm gonna go with an upset here. Duke's gonna go down sometime, especially if Zion's not recovered enough from his injury problems. Best of luck to him to be recovered for the tournament, but it's gonna affect the team, I think, and their chemistry with Coach K and his former player C. Wojciechowski. He's really gonna have a game plan and at least leave it close either way with Duke. We'll go with Marcus Howard and Marquette, shocking the world. And we got Purdue beating, not losing to Kentucky, excuse me. And ten and Wisconsin Cinderella run will end against Tennessee. Ooh. Tennessee's too good. Ooh. And then, then we got VCU also going to the Elite Eight. Uh, Texas Tech hasn't had enough talent further in the Sweet 16. And VCU had it in 2012. I really like how they're looking right now. Gonzaga will end Belmont Cinderella run. And Michigan State with their premier talent and Tom Izzo still being the head coach there. They're going to beat LSU and they're still going to represent the Big Ten as much as I'm a Michigan fan. The Big Ten is definitely a crucial and I like being all Big Ten during the March Madness. We'll go with Michigan State in this one. And 
And then we'll go with Michigan to beat Virginia to head to the Final Four. Virginia, y'all, loses every March. They never win in March, and they won't in this bracket either. Go Blue! There's an off at this story. I mean, okay. Okay, thanks. Yep. yep. And then and then we got Marquette, Kentucky. Marquette, Cinderella run, well, unfortunately, and Kentucky's just too built on their Calipari squat, but this will be a phenomenal run that they made it to Elite Eight. I'm really hoping they can get there. They're a team I'm really looking forward to watching this tournament. We'll go Kentucky. And then Tennessee will still, Tennessee's run will actually end. VCU's run will continue in the Elite Eight. And they'll be back in the Final Four for the first time since 2012. And we got Gonzaga and Michigan State. This will be a big matchup, but really like how Gonzaga is looking right now. They're definitely a lot of people's favorites from the bracket I made Monday. And then also even this morning, quite a bit of people are voting on the bra on Gonzaga to make it very far in the tournament. So their favorites to win on what I'm hearing. We'll go with them to beat Michigan State. We got Michigan and Kentucky in the Final Four. Michigan just can't match up with Kentucky. And this will be a rematch of Charles Matthews playing with his former team since we got him as a five-star recruit from Kentucky. So this will be a chance for him to revenge with the, revenge his former team. But Kentucky has the talent, unfortunately, and our run will end in the Final Four. And then, and then Gonzaga will beat VCU. They're sending their all around. This incredible run projected would end. And yeah, with, with, with Kentucky, it's Calipari impressing me. And I know Super Celtics are a humongous Kentucky fan. And Gonzaga's just not used to the biggest competition, especially in the finals. We'll go with Kentucky to win it all to this, for this bracket. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And peace out.